Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back into Kingdom Come News. I swear that gets worse every time. Before anything, I want to ask you, what did you get up to at Christmas? How did you spend your holiday? Personally, I just got incredibly drunk and passed out alone. Tip of the day, don't be me. That, I think that's what we've learned from this. But yes, comment down below and tell me what you got up to. So I've been asked a question at least a couple of times, maybe three or four times. Roxy, when is the Band of Bastards DLC coming out? Well, today we may finally have an answer. Possibly. M maybe. Probably. Almost. You can never guarantee certainty on this channel. I think that's what we've learned from this. So over on Twitter yesterday, the mustachioed Sir Toby put up a post. So in my video a couple of days ago, I ended up reading out one of the questions as Mr. Bean, and everyone seemed to really enjoy it. So what I'm going to do is read part of this as Mr. Bean. Now, if I'm not careful, I may accidentally slip inside Yoda. Oh God, no, that sounded terrible. No, that's not what I meant. Mmm, naughty that is. Okay, guys, so here is my Christmas and New Year's present to you. Let's stream Kingdom Come Deliverance, yay! I'd like everyone to leave a like for Mr. Bean, unless everyone is just unsubscribed. <laughs> <laughs> so stream one will be on the 27th, which is right about now. So after this video, hop on over to their Twitch and they may still be live. I'm hoping I have this video out in time, but if I don't, they generally release their streams on their YouTube channel later. Stream 2 will be on the 28th and this is Let's Play Kingdom Come Deliverance. But the one we're most interested in here is Let's Play DLC 3. If you didn't know, DLC 3 is better known as the Band of Bastards. Now a little birdie told me that there may possibly be some form of announcement in this stream to when this DLC is going to be released. Now this of course is a Let's Play of the DLC which leads me to believe that it's practically done. So the release will not be very long after the second. Looking at my calendar, the second is a Wednesday. So looking forward to the Friday when some DLC is released would be the fourth, but there's also Monday, which would be the seventh. Now I could be wrong, but we will know more when this stream goes out. So I will be leaving a link in the description below for Warhorse's stream. These will all be streamed at 6 p.m p.m. Central Eastern Time. Now, personally, I'm on GMT, so that is 5 p.m. here. Or whatever your time is. I'm not very good at maths or geography or life. I am very excited about this, and I will be doing a video on that day to tell you guys and keep you all updated. As well as that, we will be playing the Band of Bastards when it is released. I'm also assuming that there is going to be some form of patch released alongside this. This would be patch 1.7.2 in theory. Unless they do one of those giant leaps and we end up at patch 1.8. So I had a fun idea and that was going onto the Kingdom Come Deliverance forums and see what people are talking about. The first one that pops out to me here is Marius stuck at the center of the village. <laughs> Bloody Marius, what's he doing there? So Dragon says, I can't finish all the buildings because Marius is chilling in the center of the village and doing nothing. And I can only talk to him and I can't even attack him or move him. He just stays there and I'm not allowed to build. <laughs> Can you imagine if this was Biscuit Town and we couldn't build because bloody Marius was being a douchebag? That's practically what's happening here. Now, as Baron says, this could be fixed by loading a previous save. This is one of the bugs that can just randomly happen. Personally, I haven't experienced it and I don't know anyone else that has, but generally reloading a save should fix it. So there is another post here saying, combat is horrible. Co combat is horrible. Bad combat. It, d it doesn't say that. I, I added that. Viking Warrior 2 says, I have been playing games for like 15 years now and this game is still by far the hardest I have ever played. You can barely win one versus one and it is insanely hard to win one versus two or more. Now, yes, I agree. Multiple people against you is difficult, but one versus one, generally, unless they are heavily armored, shouldn't be that hard. He even says he tried wasting nine real hours in the training arena to max out skills. Now that is of course the first thing I will say, people who are having problems with the combat 
need to train, train, train. It's the most important thing you can do in this game. But the fact he has spent nine real hours in training doesn't really make much sense, and I don't know why he isn't able to beat anyone. One thought here is possibly the weapon you're using. Maybe if you tried using a short sword or a mace or something different, try mixing up the weapons that you use. He also says the amount of time you need to train in the game is almost as much time as it would take me to learn real sword fighting. <laughs> He then finishes by saying Mountain Blade has the most awesome combat compared to this game, and that game is the most basic combat in a game ever. Okay, I've got to kindly disagree with you, but that's fair enough. Everyone's allowed their own opinion. I think that we should all try using different weapons, try mixing up your strategy, keep away from your enemy because if you get too close they will start battering you especially if they use something like a mace definitely keep your distance if you can try picking them off with a couple of arrows beforehand now when it comes to multiple enemies at once it's always good to keep distance as i said before but if you're on pc i think there is a mod you can download which allows you to be able to switch targets easier from what i found the targeting is quite sticky in vanilla kingdom come deliverance also, make sure to parry. Parry is so important. In theory, you could block every single attack in that game without any issue. Now, of course, taking on multiple people and trying to do that is very difficult, but with a single person, in theory, with enough practice, you should be able to block every single attack you have coming towards you. If you want to see more content of me just reading forum posts and looking at the different bugs and stuff people have found, then please comment down below. Personally, I think it would be good to talk about some of these things because it would get rid of some of the stigma around bugs and some of the issues that the game has. I will be leaving a link to both of these posts down below. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to pop over to Warhorse's Twitch right now and go and check out the stuff. Make sure to like my video first though. Thank you. That would be very kind of you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. But until next time, that's me. Out. Bye, guys.